Hello, hello, hello. Hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to a new video. Ki hal chal. I hope you are doing good. In this, we're gonna see a problem. Eat pizza. Now, like target for this video is seventy-five likes. Please let's have it. Now, in this, we are simply saying that we are given an array pizzas. As you can see, these are the pizzas sizes and where each pizza represents the weight of that pizza. So basically, it has imagined as the weight array. So this is technically a weight array which we are given to us. Now every day I eat exactly four pizzas, which means that this is a weight array. So obviously I will be eating four pizzas. So I will be eating four weights. Okay. Now my metabolism is pretty high, and I eat the pizzas with a weight. Let's say obviously I'm eating four pizzas, so they will have four weights. Imagine their weights are W, X, Y, and Z. Obviously I have to make sure that W, X, Y, and Z, you know, these are in this order. increasing order from w to z and i will only gain the weight of one pizza that's so that's so amazing right i will only able to gain weight of just one pizza even after eating four pizzas with different weights now what they are saying is that obviously if you are eating four pizzas imagine you have these number these many number of n pizzas you have you eat four pizzas each day so your number of days in which you will be able to eat pizzas will be n by 4 and it is possible obviously in this case n is a multiple for 4 so you will always be able to eat these many number of days now each day which means day 1 day 2 day 3 up till let's say day uh, z or let's say not z but let's say day uh, k day k now this says okay n by 4 this is nothing but n by 4 uh i can say k as n by 4 itself now in this case what i will do obviously odd number day which means that in on day 1 i will get the weight of weight of z obviously you remember that i am eating four pizzas the pizza having the highest weight i will get i will gain that weight so it is highest i will gain the highest weight on day 1 which is the odd number day on day 2 which is the even number day i will gain the weight of y which is the second highest so here i'll gain the weight of second highest okay and so on and so forth you know again uh, they here highest out of again out of all the pizza which i am eating highest weight i will gain here now again i am spending time on this statement itself because many things will be derived from here itself i have to find the maximum total weight which i can gain although it is not something what you would want but still the problem wants that you have to get the maximum possible weight now if i ask you a very basic question i add, i gave you two numbers right you have to give their result as max as possible and again let's see even if i gave you numbers 4 2 8 3 2 7 6 5 6 7 Five and I ask you, just get me two numbers whose sum is as as max as possible. Obviously, you will try the individual numbers should be as max as possible. So I will always take you know individual numbers who are maximum and then just choose those numbers in place of this, just to get the maximum possible total result. Same way in this, I have to achieve a maximum total. So this total. should be as max as possible so individually i will try that i will uh, i will try to take the as highest weight value as possible for me given weight values are this i will try to take the highest weight value but for all days and for even days second highest but again as best as i can do i will do that so for this example obviously if i have to take something as highest highest only i have to sort it Or maybe use a priority key or something. That's all which can give me the highest value. Maybe in this case we can sort it. We can also use a priority key or a ordered set. Now I will let's sort it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I very clearly know that after sorting, right? After sorting, I will start from the very back, and I know that here the n is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Here the n is eight. If the n is eight, obviously the number of days. i will be able to consume pizzas will be 8 by 4 which is 2 days right this is 2 days now in 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 2 days how many number of odd days will be there and how many number of even days will be there obviously for odd days whatever pizzas you are about to take you will take the maximum one so i will try something of the sort okay imagine like for a, for a any day for any odd day i will take the maximum pizza and the remaining three let's say minimum pizza 
right? Now, this is I will do for odd day. Now for even day, technically I cannot take this pizza because for even day, I have to take a second maximum. I have to take the second maximum, which is only this candidate remaining. So for even day, I will take the second maximum pizza. I will take the second maximum pizza. And then again, uh, remaining one will be discarded as in like, you know, this will be my day two. So if I uh, if I just simply tell you how it look like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then 16. Let's say these are the days which I have. Cool. Uh, sorry, these are the pizza which I have. Obviously, I know that I will start off and I know my total number of days which will be there will be 16 by 4. Which is four days. Cool. Uh, so I have four days which I will take, you know, for my answer. I will start off by saying, okay, let's firstly take the odd days. Why I'm taking the odd days first? The primary reason is because if I take the odd days and consume the maximum values for odd days, I will be getting a higher value. Let's see with the help of this, this example. So, okay, for the first day, this value, highest piece value, I'll, I'll consume it for the odd day. And then the smallest three one, let's say for the for the remaining four pieces. Again, for me, I only add 16 in my answer. That's it. I'll not add anything else because I only consume, I only get the weight of one element. Now, you might have a question. Now, Arin, shall I consider, uh, you know, 14 as the event, uh, sorry, as the event day? I will say no. Why no? Because if you would have consumed the second element as the second odd day because obviously this is day one i can have four days which means d1 d2 d3 and d4 so now i'm saying that d3 i will consume 15 and then the smallest three again now why i did not consume why i did not consume this as on d2 you know why i did not consume on d2 again obviously if i consume on d2 so i have to consume let's say these two these two things and the smallest two things but in my answer, I will only be able to add 14. But it will be much, much, much better that if I am able to add a 15 rather than a 14. How, and how I will be able to do that? When I will consume that on an odd day. So I did that. I consumed that on an odd day and then okay, remaining ones here. Okay, let's proceed forward. Now, okay, all odd days are finished. So all odd days are finished. Now come on to the even day. For even day, I will go on to the second index consume it on a let's say it is 15 consume it on a day two so this is day two and then jumping off on another index again for this when i consume it these two will be consumed and these two will be consumed same way uh, when i consume that on d4 i will consume these two and these two let's say these two and these two and this i will add 11 here so technically you see that how I will solve my answer is I will firstly sort my input array of pizzas. I will go on from the very back for all the odd days first. I will start consuming it until I can consume that. And then for even days, even days, I will consume at an alternate interval and will simply add those things in my answer. Cool. Again, this is greedily, I'm choosing a maximum value. Let's see the code. The code is exactly same. Firstly, I will sort it. Then I know my total number of days are size by four. And the current index with which I have to start moving from back will be size minus one. This is my starting index, which I have to start moving and I will move backwards. Okay, then I will get my total maximum weight. Now, firstly, I have to consume my odd weights then I will start consuming my odd weight. So as you can see, at every day, at every day, again, uh, you will see that I am trying to go on to odd dates. This, this, this indicates again, don't be confused with this day plus two. This is simply saying that I am consuming for odd days. So this is for odd days, odd days, right? And then this is for my even days, even days. But, but, I am consuming consecutive elements here. So you will see current index minus minus and I am consuming consecutive elements. So for odd days, D1, D3, D5 and so on and so forth, I am consuming consecutive elements. But for even days, I am consuming alternate elements. So for even days, I will reduce the index by minus 2. And again, because at when it will come out from here, it was already reduced by 1. 
when it comes here i reduce it again just to you know reduce by two and then i will consume it and then reduce by two which means alternatively you know uh skip things which means in a gap of two, I will go about and ultimately giving the total maximum weight because I did sort in. So time used will be O of n log n in this case and space because technically space will be only the sorting by default space and log n space is used for in Java and C++ and O of n space in Python is used for by default sorting and rest all other just variables. Cool. I hope you guys got it. Again, make sure that we achieve the like target of 75 bigs and bye-bye. Take care.